Let's take a few moments to ground in and connect with our breath. So lengthen your palms forward, rest your forehead to the earth. Stretch out through your fingertips so you can get long through your spine. Start to breathe in and out of your nose. Do that nostril breathing just to begin for a few moments. When we start to add on the weights and jump around with some cardio, open mouth exhales will come in later. But for the beginning, before we get too warmed up and get going, it's those in and out of the nose, which I eat breathing. Spill heat internally inside the body, making it safer to warm up. And see all your lips constrict the back of your throat and find your breath. And today we want to talk about if you want to have an intention, it's basically about being present, being in the moment. Because if you aren't staying in the moment, you're technically leaving it. So we want to be more present. How can you bring presence in to your practice this hour? Be present with the shapes instead of letting your mind wander out. Right now, connecting with your breath on your mat. That's one great way to be present. So we want to make the most of our moments, make the most of our lives. So learning how to find the practice of staying present. Take one nice, long, deep breath in through your nose. Then out of your nose, clearing through your sinuses, exhale. Two more times, big breath in through your nose, fill up. Through your nose, open, through your nose, let it go. Last time, biggest, deepest breath in through your nose, fill up all the way into the pit of your belly. And out of your nose, clear, magic, cleansing breath out. Inhale, rise up, tabletop when you're ready, palms under your shoulders. Pull your knees in under your hips, just like you're in a table. We'll find our cats and cows undulate through your spine as you inhale, cow pose, dip your belly down, crown of head and hips lift. You're opening up that front line of your body, stretching the core. On your exhale, rounded spine, really overactively arch up, press your chin towards chest, take your gaze back, drop your neck, drop your head, stretch your neck. Inhale, cow, breathe. Exhale, cat, rounding through your spine. Let's move a few more times just like this. Let your movement become organic and matching with your breath. So if you want to flip palms and stretch your wrists a little bit, maybe you want to tuck your toes, sway your hips, or sway side to side to stretch your side body, stretch your oblique muscles, make space in your ribs. Just a couple more rounds of breath here. Just to unite with ourselves. See how we're doing right now, checking in. And when you're ready, back to your tabletop pose, pause there. We'll find some fire hydrants with an extension. Start with your right leg. You can tuck your toes, take a breath in. Now on your exhale, hover your right knee out. So knee in line with hip and notice your right hip. We wanna avoid hiking our hip up. We're actually leaving our hips level with one another and just using your glute and hamstring to lift. And then give yourself a nice kick through your heel, a nice long straight leg, toes are flexed. As you inhale, bend your knee back, staying in your hover and take it down, that's it. Take a breath in and repeat as you exhale, lift, kick, inhale, bend, and lower. Lift, kick, bend it back, and lower. You've got it. Just a few more times. Manage in your hips. Keep your hip lower. Just lift through your inner thigh. Feel your external right glute light up. Give me four more. Use your exhale to power your kick. Last three. Two more. Now on this last one, hold your kick out and extend it. Hold. We're going to pulse that kick, pulse your heel straight up. Just four, three, press through your palms. Last two, knee down in one, take it down. Woo. Let's do our other side. Take your left knee, breath in. On your exhale, it's your hydrant with your extension. Bend and lower. Lift, kick, bend and lower. Exhale to lift and kick. You got it. Inhale to lower. Again, letting your left hip stay soft and down in line with your right. Just kicking and lifting, using your glutes and your hamstring to do the work. Four more. Flex toes, kick through your heel. Last three. Two. Hold it up. Last one. Kick and find that pulse. Lift up. Lift up using your hamstring. Four. Three. Two, one, take it down. Nice job. Tuck your toes with your inhale and downward facing dog with your exhale breath. Lend your hips high. Walk your dog out here. Pedal and bend into your knees. Lift and lower your heels. You got it. Soften your neck. Press your torso back towards your thighs. 
Take a moment to melt your heels towards the mat. And take a big breath in, lift your hips and heels up nice and high. Open mouth, sigh it out, melt your heels low. One more time, big breath in, lift hips and heels. Open mouth, sigh it out, melt them down. Inhale to soften your knees, take your look forward, your gaze forward. Ragdoll pose on your exhale. Walk your feet forward behind your wrists. Fold in half, palms to elbow creases, sway side to side. Take what you need. Soften your neck muscles here. Feel your back line body get long. You got it. It's another cycle of breath. And then release your palms to the mat. Bend into your knees, rounded spine. Inhale slowly, one vertebra at a time. Rise up to standing. Chin is last, heavy. When you get to the top, shoulders up to ears and roll them down your back. Take a big breath in, let your palms face forward. Open mouth, exhale, breath, let it go. <sighs> Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Sweep your arms up overhead. You can have your feet together or hips width, it's up to you. Grab one palm on top of the other, take a breath in, and as you exhale, pull your elbow, your left elbow out to the left, wrap your right bicep by your ear. So get vertical through your spine and actually pulling over to the left, so you're getting a, you're getting a nice tricep stretch and you're also opening up your front line as you squeeze your shoulders down your back. Another cycle of breath. With your next inhale, all the way back up, mountain pose, release your grip. Now as you exhale, go ahead and find your opposite non-dominant hand grip, full breath in, get tall. And then exhale, pull your elbow out to the right, wrapping your left ear with your left bicep. Get a nice stretch, separate your collarbones from one another, get tall and vertical through your spine. Another round of breath. Inhale, reach back up, mountain pose, release your grip. Exhale, cactus arm, back bend, pull your elbows out wide, lay your head back, engage your core by squeezing navel to spine and lift up through your heart. That'll help avoid that low back collapse. Inhale, mountain pose. And exhale, forward fold, dive it in half. Get long in your spine. Halfway lift with your inhale, palms glide up your shins, roll your shoulders down your back, reach the crown of your head forward, and your sacrum, your tailbone to the back wall. Get nice and long through your torso. Full breath in, high plank, breath out. You got it. Palms under your shoulders. Make sure your thumbs or index fingers are facing forward. Lift your heels above your toes and then energetically press back through your heels. Fill your quads ignite. Get your hips in line with your shoulders. Reach the crown of your head forward and press the earth actively away so you can separate your shoulder blades from one another. Go ahead and shift the weight into your left foot. Hover your right foot so hip doesn't lift. Right hip is level with left. Take a breath. And as you exhale, squeeze knee to chest underneath you without rounding too much through your back. Hold your high plank. Inhale, take it back to your hover. Exhale, knee to chest. Breathe as you lengthen. Exhale to squeeze, maintaining high plank. Avoid shifting side to side. Four more. Open mouth, exhale. Three, two. Right foot down and one. Take it down. Start with your left side. Hover that left foot. Actively press your palms down. Breath in. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. You've got it. Keep your neck long. Avoid crunching down. Four more. Broaden your shoulders. Last three. Downward facing dog in two. Last one. Downward facing dog. Awesome job. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, soften your knees. Look forward. Exhale, move top of your space. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, let it go. Inhale, mountain pose, rise all the way up to the top. This time side body stretch, right arm down, reach up and over to the right. Send your hips to the left, you got it. And use your inhale to come back up to mountain. Next, exhale, left arm down, reach over to the left, rainbow through your arm, get a nice stretch from your hip to armpit through fingers, send your hips to the right. Inhale, mountain pose through center. Exhale, cactus arm, back bend, open mouth breath. <sighs> Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, high plank. We'll walk through our first chaturanga dandasana. So set up your high plank. On an inhale, shift forward on your toes. Shoulders come forward to wrists. Exhale, lower halfway down. No more lower than elbows and shoulders. You can always bring knees down here if that helps. Inhale, upward facing dog. Untuck your toes. Peel your heart forward. Shoulders are still over your wrists. Full breath in. And exhale, downward facing dog. Hips go back. 
Nice job, friends. Inhale, soften knees, look forward. Exhale, travel top of space. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, let it go. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Send your hips down and back. Crane your biceps with your ears. Actively press through the ground. Rip your mat in half. You'll feel your outer edges of your hips and thighs light up. Scoop your, your pelvis in and up towards your navel and squeeze your navel to spine. Sit a little deeper in your sit bones. Full breath in. Exhale, airplane arms. Sweep them back behind you. Make sure your palms rotate down so you're high-fiving the earth and squeeze your triceps and pinkies together. Sit back a little more into your hip bones. Sit back a little more into your heels. Right foot is your base. Inhale, one leg mountain. Palms come overhead, rotate your thumbs out, let your heart lift. Keep your left knee in line with your left hip and flex your toes to the sky. Full breath here. And exhale, hovering airplane pose. Sweep your palms back behind you again and kick through your heel. Wrap your pinky toe down towards the earth. That'll help soften left hip in line with right. Full breath in, hold full breath out. Inhale, crescent lunge, gently step your toes down, reach your palms up overhead. So shoulders in line with hips, pull your left hip forward in line with your right, lift your back heel nice and high. Take a breath in, keep your arms lifted. As you exhale, double lunge, bring that back knee down to a little hover. Keep pulling your left hip forward, lifting your back heel. So we want your hip and knee lined up. Arms to sky, let's find a gentle pulse here. So the pulse is from this lower double lunge knee. The front knee, press actively through your foot. Keep this leg stable. Just let the work come from the back leg. That hamstring. Four more. Last three. Last two. And last one. Inhale, crescent, straighten leg. Exhale, open twist to your right. Sweep your palms open to the back. You can take that back palm straight or bring it to your sacrum. Make sure that your hips are still forward. You're twisting like a corkscrew from your navel. Double lunge here again, bring it down. You've got the double lunge shape. Now let's pulse it with our twist. Get vertical through your spine. Four more. Last three, hold it low in two. And one, inhale, unwind, crescent. Exhale, warrior two, open to the side. Shimmy out, surf into your spot. Get nice and long for your legs. Get your spine vertical and reach through your palms. Full breath in, deepen your lunge breath out. Inhale, reverse your warrior front palm, slices the sky. Get that space in your ribs. Commit to your lunge over front knee. You can look back at your foot or up at your hand. One more breath in. And exhale, high plank, plant your palms. Woo, step your foot back. Mountain climbers, knee to chest. This time, fast or slow, it's up to you. Let's get a little cardio up, go. Try to keep your hips level with your shoulders so you're in plank rather than a down dog for eight, seven, six, five, four, down dog, and three, and two, and one. Downward facing dog, big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, soften your knees, look forward. Exhale, move to the top of your space. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, let it go. Inhale, chair, Utkatasana. Sit back into your sit bones. Take a breath in. Exhale, sit a little deeper. One more inhale. Exhale, airplane arms, sweep them back. Squeeze your triceps, pinkies together. Get your palms a little higher. Sit a little deeper. One more breath in. One more breath out. Left foot is your base. Inhale, one leg mountain. Right knee in line with hip toes flex. Take a breath. Exhale, airplane lunge, or airplane pose rather. Kick back through your heel. Wrap your pinky toes down towards the earth. Soften right hip in line with left. Up dog lift to your heart. Full breath in and full breath out. Land your back toes. Inhale, crescent lunge. Get stacked with your right hip forward, hip shoulders in line. Double lunge, melt that back knee down. You got it, find a pulse here. Press actively through your left foot so it stays stable. Lift and lower your back knee. Press your hamstring up and then melt it down. Keep actively reaching up. Snap navel to spine. You'll feel your abdominal region engage. Four more. Last three. Just two. Hold it low in one, melt it low. Big breath in. Open twist to your left, open it up. You again can reach back or find your sacrum. Both hips forward, let's find that pulse. Double lunge that back knee up and down. You've got it, just four more. Last three, last two, hold it low in one. Inhale, unwind to crescent. Exhale, warrior two, open it up, shimmy it out. 
Separate your legs a little wider. Actively rip your mat, mat in half, full breath in. Dive a little deeper, breath out. Inhale, reverse your warrior, slice the sky. Get that space in your ribs, breathe into the openness. Full breath in. Next exhale, low lunge, plant your palms, step it back to high plank. Second round of mountain climbers, go a little faster this time. Knees to chest, go. Keep your spine long, crown of head reaching forward. Eight more, seven, six, five, down dog in four, three, two, and one, down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, soften your knees, look forward. Exhale, move top of space. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward, fold, nice and deep, let it go. Inhale, chair, rise up. Hands to heart, take your feet hips with distance apart. Let's melt it down for a pulse. Squeeze your booty and stay low. Bring your elbows out wide, actively press your palms together. Sit back into your heels. Keep your heart lifted. Small movements. So your breath is an exhale as you lift. As you press through your feet, squeeze your booty. You got it. Keep it low. Sit back a little deeper into your chair. Sit bones back. Four more. Three. We'll go full range squats in two. And one. Take it all the way up. Sit it all the way back low. Lift. Lower. Lift. Keep pressing through your heels. Let that booty do some work. Squeeze as you lift. Let's go eight more. Seven. Last six. Just five, four, we're gonna jump rope in place in three, two, and one. Nice job, friends, jump rope in place. You got it. Get a little cardio going. Side of the way. Nice. How you doing today, Tomo? Glad you're here. How's your week been, Dean? Glad to see you again this week. Lift your knees up a little higher for your jump rope. Almost like a high knees. Keep your jump rope going. Okay, we'll find some squat jumps in four, three, two, one. Take it down, burst up. Lower, burst. Land on your heels, press your toes to get that jump. We'll protect your joints, land toe heel. Press off your toes. Exhale as you lift. Four more. Three, football runners in two, and one, find your football runners. Woo. You can travel your mat, you can use your arms in and out. Fast on your feet, try to lift your toes a little bit higher. Can you go a little bit faster? Nice. We'll go back to our squat jumps in four, three, two, and one. Take it low, burst. Burst it up. Woo. Sitting back, friends. Whew. Four more. Three, two, football runners in one. Football runners. You got it. Nice work. We'll find our ice skaters in four, three, two, and one. So we're gonna step one leg across. You can tap down and switch other side. You can tap or not. Keep your hips going forward. You got it. Take up some space if you've got the room. Let it feel good. Let that back leg reach long behind you. Eight more. Seven. Six. Just five. Four. Three. Two. And one, stand it up, get low, horse heels in, toes out. Sit low. We're gonna press to the other side, back foot pivots. Squat through center, hops to side, punch. Lower, press, press, press. It's like a jab. Use your arms energetically. Get that squat, sit back. Use your breath. Eight more, seven. Six, last five, four, jump rope in place in three, two, and one, jump rope. Whew. Bring it back. High knees, lift them up. So getting those knees high, hips stay level. Use your core to lift your knee a little higher. 
We'll find our butt kickers in four more. Three more. Last two and one. Now take your heels back to your booty. Your knees will stay down. You can crisscross your feet or straight back. Nice work. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step it out wide. Full breath in, get long and tall. Open mouth, exhale, squat it back, squat it low. Again, breathe. Exhale, take it low. Imagine you're circling the moon in front of a waterfall or something. Breathe. Exhale, take it low. Two more times, breathe. Exhale. Last time, fill up. Last time, let it go. Inhale, mountain pose, middle of your mat, feet together. Exhale, fold, let it go. Halfway lift, inhale. And forward fold, breath out. Grab your light weights, inhale, chair. Weights to shoulders, weights to sky. Sit back in your chair, bring your hands to your heart. We're gonna find a mountain uh, football, uh, running man rather in our chair. So sit back, take your weights down, but hug your shoulders down your back, elbows lift. One weight does a tricep kickback, while the other weight does a hammer curl. So your weights are facing. So you do that, inhale through center, and exhale, switch sides. Breathe, switch, breathe, switch. You got it, exhale as you press. For the tricep kickback part, keep your elbow high, you got it. Nice work, now if you want more, right foot is your base, it's a one leg chair. One leg chair, balance, Set, keep your hips level. Nice, eight more, seven, Six, use that breath. Five, pause through center. Four, add a pulse. Three, last two, hands to heart in one. One leg mountain, left leg lifts. Full breath, exhale, airplane. Put your palms down with your weights under your shoulder. You can also grab a chair if you don't have weights. Balance up with your heart lifted slightly. Point your toes or kick through your heel. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, shoot a squat, knees to the back of your cap. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, squeeze. Lengthen, squeeze, breathe, breathe. Hips stay level, use your glute to do the kick. And squeeze, get your booty down when you squeeze. Heart stays lifted when you squeeze. You've got it, eight more, seven, six, last five, just four, leg stays hovered in three, and two, hovered leg, and one, hover your leg. It's a heel lift, lift, lower, lift, lower. Press into the bottom out of your foot, and lift your heel, use your calf muscle. Keep your hips level, eight more. Seven, six, bend into that standing leg, five, hips stay together, four more, last three, Two more, and one, find your crescent lunge. Step it back, bring your weights into your heart. Can you feel that? <laughs> All right, hands to heart, elbows out wide. Get your double lunge, Woo, find your balance. Double lunge, bring that back knee down. My glute is feeling it. Let your weights hang. Now you can pulse, kind of a deadlift here, a suitcase squat with those hanging weights. You got that. If you want, when you lift, hammer curl. Now, if you're out there using weights, you can put the weights down. You can switch out your weights for lighter or heavier weights. You can also go one arm at a time. Make sure your back heel stays lifted high. You've got it, keep going. Four more, just three. Hands to heart in two, and one, hands to heart. Melt back in your double lunge and find your open twist with your weights at your heart. So we're gonna center and then twist. Center, twist, breathe, twist. If you want to add on the leg lift, twist. Lower, twist. You'll get that stretch in your left side, elbows out wide. Exhale, breathe, and exhale. Nice job. Four more. Last three, two. Crescent lunge in one, 
full breath in, open up warrior two, breath out, elbows by your side. Weights can be up or they can be to the side, but keep that W. Okay, shimmy into your spot. Side lateral or lunges, weights up and down, elbows in, take your breath. Exhale, elbow and shoulder height. It's breathe, squeeze, breathe, squeeze. Lift and lift. You got it. All the variations are here for you. Weights can be down. Gentle grip on your weights. Elbows and wrists in one line, elbows and shoulders in the other. Can you get your elbows up just a little higher? Pause for a second at the top and lower. Pause, lower. Exhale, pause, lower. Nice work. Four more. Just three. Last two. Hands to heart in one. Hands to heart. Horse pose, heels in, toes out. Get deep, shimmy and surf into your spot. We want our knees and toes in the same direction and knees stacked over ankles. Find a little pulse levels that way. Nice. We won't be here for long. I can really feel my right quad. Whew. Four more. Hold it low in three and two and one. Take it low. Let your weights hang so they're facing up. Full breath in, shoulders down back. Exhale to lift. Lower, flip your wrists straight out. Take it down, flip and serve it up. Lower, flip and lift. You got it, friends. Keep going. Exhale on your lift. Small bend in your elbows, whole time. Shh. If you want, you can add on a pulse in your legs. It's up to you. Or hold it low. Squeeze your legs back to the wall behind you. Four more. Three more. Make sure your spine stays vertical. Last two. And one, hands to heart. Bring it in. So you've got oblique twists. Get deep here, spine stays long. Center is your breath. Twist to the right, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, to the left, twist. Center, twist, center, twist, center. Notice your hips, they stay centered. Twist from your ribs, twist from Twist, breathe, exhale, and breathe. Eight more. Seven, last six, you've got it friends. Four more, last two, hands to heart in one, hands to heart, yes. Inhale, open up for warrior two. Stay for that breath out deepen. Inhale your front arm straight up to the sky, just reach straight up, a nice breath. And exhale, weights to your shoulders, pivot it forward, plant your weights, move through a chaturanga, hide a little plank. Or hold your high plank. Or go straight to down dog. Inhale your up dog. Squeeze your heels together. More lower body engagement. Exhale downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale to your knees. Yeah. How you doing? A little belly up chorus here. If you want a small sip of water, take it. Otherwise, let's meet on our back. Small sip of water. All right, lay it all the way down. Feet or hips with this as a part. Basic gym crunches to begin. Take a breath in, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lift straight up. Keep your gaze up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Breathe and squeeze. Elbows out wide. Drive your feet down into the mat. Feel your low back stay pressed into the earth. Let your head be heavy in your hands. And lift up from your heart to avoid crunching your neck up. Just eight more. Last seven. Six more. You got this, just five. Four, can you lift your shoulders off a little higher? Last three. Last two, knees to chest in one. Knees to chest, squeeze it in a little deeper, maybe rock side to side, take a big breath in. Let a big breath go. Plant your feet, hips with distance apart. Take left ankle over right thigh, left arm long by your side, right elbow out wide with your palm behind your neck. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, lift and twist elbow towards me. Inhale, unravel back down. Exhale, lift, twist, unravel, lift, twist. You've got it. Both hips stay in the earth. Let your head be heavy in your hands so you are not overstraining your neck muscles. Lift, twist. Can you get your elbow up, touching your knee? 
Cover your shoulders, four more. Last three. Nice work, team. Two. Last one, Tello. Woo! All right. Switch sides. Arms long by your side. Both feet hips a distance apart. Right ankle over left thigh. Right arm long by your side. Palm in the earth. Left elbow out wide. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, lift and twist elbow to knee. Lower it down. Lift, twist. Keep your hips in the mat. Lift, twist. Head heavy in your hand. You got it. Shh. Try to get your shoulders a little higher. Reach for your knee. Avoid crunching in your neck, but support your head. Whoo! Nice work. Shh. We're almost there. Four more. Last three. Lift, twist, two. Lift, twist, one. You're done. Take your whole body out long. Stretch your arms overhead. Take a big open mouth. Breath in or through the nose, but open mouth. Exhale, let it go. Okay, one more push, friends. Feet, hips a distance apart, elbows behind, out wide behind your head. Now hover your knees about hips with distance and squeeze your biceps by your ears. Lift up through your head, neck, and shoulders. Support your head with your hands. As you inhale, kick through your heels. Keep your low back in the ground. Exhale, squeeze elbows to knee. Inhale, lengthen so you're keeping head, neck, and shoulders up the whole time. Exhale, squeeze towards your elbows. Breathe and squeeze. Breathe and squeeze. You can point your toes or kick through your heels. It's up to you, but low back stays down. You're supporting your head. Keep a roundness from your navel up through the crown of your head, so avoid a super crunch in the neck. Eight more, you've got it. Last seven, can you get a little lower in your hover? Six, just five, almost done. Last four, last three, you've got a long weekend, push through it. Last two, be present for your last one, squeeze, you're done. Whoo, full body lengthen on the mat. Big breath in, open mouth, let go of some stale air, hot air. Whoo, one more, full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, draw your knees to your chest and give yourself a tight squeeze with your exhale. Grab behind your thighs, rock and roll a few times. This is often where my back gets a nice crack. A few times and then make yourself up through a chaturanga. This time in your up dog, pause with your legs down low. Bring your legs all the way to the earth. Stretch it up, look over your shoulders, stretch your core. Both sides. Take what you need, give yourself that love being present. When you're ready, downward facing dog. Press it back, pedal it out, some organic movement, friends. Lift and lower your heels. Take a big breath in through your nose. Big open mouth breath out. Inhale, soften your knees, look forward. Exhale, move top of your space. Halfway lift, inhale, breath, and forward fold, let it go. Grab your light weights, inhale, chair, weights to your heart. Woo. Sit down and back, shoulders down your back, hands and hips. Here we go with our running man. Lift, center, lift, and center. Press it back, press it forward, bring it through center. Keep your heart lifted. You've got it. If you want to, press into that left foot and bring your right foot up. It's a balance. You've got it. If you want to add on a little pulse, you can pulse into that standing knee. Remember to pause through center. Keep your shoulders squeezing down your back the whole time. Can you get your tricep arm back a little more? Four more. Last three. Last two. Hands to heart in one. Nice. Inhale, one leg mounts and get your right leg up. And exhale, hands below your shoulders, airplane pose. Remember our Shiva squats here, there again. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, hips get low, squeeze knee to calf. Inhale to lengthen, hips are level. Exhale, squeeze knee to calf. Breathe and squeeze. Use your right glute to send that heel back. Avoid letting your whole body jump forward onto your weights. Keep your heart lifted. Eight more. Can you get your hips a little lower? Squeeze. Six more. Nice squats, friends. Last four. 
Keep your leg covered at the end of three, at the end of two, at the end of one. Hover your leg, it's a heel lift. Press into the left ball mount of your foot, lift your heel up. Take it low, lift, lower, lift, and lower. Keep your hips level so that right leg is lifting and lowering depending on how your left heel and knee are going. Press in the ball mount of your foot. You've got it. Bend into that knee. Eight more. Seven. Keep your spine long. Six. Last five. You've got it. Four. Use your right glute. Lift up through the back line of your leg. Last three. The last two. And one. Take your breath in. And exhale. Touch your toes down. Inhale. Find your crescent lunge. Woo, shimmy it out. Take your time. Get into that left glute. Hands to heart. Let's find our double lunge. Melt your back knee down. And lift. Lower and lift. Breathe and press. So get your palms pressing together. Elbows are out wide. And if you want, you can let your waist hang. Pull your shoulders down your back. Or add on a hammer curl. Lots of options. Exhale as you rise. Eight more. Last seven. Last six. Just five. And four. Last three. Hold it low in two. Last one. Take it low. Find that twist. Open up to the left. Hips stay level. You're going to pulse it here. Elbows are out wide. Pressing your weights or your palms together. You've got it. Small movement. Four more. Last three. Just two. And one. Inhale, crescent. And exhale, warrior two. Open up to the side. Nice work, friends. Whew. Left knee and ankle are stacked this time. Find cactus arms. Elbows in line with shoulders. As you inhale, let those weights hang in line with your elbows. And take it back. Let them hang. And squeeze them back. You can shimmy into your leg as much as you need. Keep surfing it out. Get that present moment ability to know what you need here, but to keep going forward here with it. So you're sticking to it. Keep your elbows out wide and keep them up high in line with your shoulders. Get your spine vertical. Eight more. Last seven. We're almost done today. Last six. Last five. Just four. Hands to heart in three more. Last two, push through it, you've got it. Last one, you're done, hands to heart. Woo, horse pose, heels and toes out. Sit down, sit back. Woo, stretch out your legs, we'll do that in a minute. Let your weights hang in front of you so your palms are facing into your body. Get nice and low, take a breath. And exhale, squeeze so your elbows are out wide, shoulder height, lower and squeeze. Lower, feel your heart lift, squeeze. You can add on a pulse if you want. Exhales, you lift nice and slow. Pull your weights up. You can switch out weights for heavier ones. Keep your spine long. Sit down and sit back. Amazing work. Eight more. You've got it. Plus seven. Six. Just five. Squeeze your legs back. Last four. Keep pulling it up. Three more. Two. And one, sink it low, hands to heart, small pulse here, almost there. Small pulse, elbows out wide. If you want more, lift your heels. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, heels down in two, and one, heels down. Inhale, warrior two, stay for your exhale breath. Inhale your front arm, your left arm straight up to the sky. Next, exhale, waist to shoulders. Pivot forward, find your high plank. Step it back. High plank, lower to your forearm plank. All the way down, elbows under your shoulders. Heels above your toes. It's a hip dip. Go to your left. Center, right, center, left. To the right, breathe through center. Just four more. Land on your left side in three, two, and one, to your left side. Bend your left knee underneath you. Extend your right leg out long. Forearm and shoulder are lined up. 
Take a breath, exhale, to lift, lift. Heels kicking forward, toes are flexing back. We're gonna find some small circles at the top in four more. Last three, last two, hold it at the top in one. Small circles. You can point your toe or keep your heel flexed, it's up to you. Small active circles. Keep your hips level and stacked, like you're stirring the pot. <laughs> four more. Last three, this foot comes down in two and one. Extend your bottom leg long and bring the sole of your foot down. Take the sole of your foot down towards your knee. Lower all the way down to your tricep so you can support your head with your hand. Flex your long leg toes and let's pulse it up. Pulse it up. I find when you lower all the way down like this, it's more active for this leg in this particular shape. Press your foot into the mat. You got it. Keep your hips stacked and level. Use your inner thigh and your glute to lift up over here. Eight more. Seven. Six. Last five. Four. Three. Find your forearm plank in two. And one. Nice. Roll back to your forearm plank. We won't be here for long. Just hold, shift back energetically. Drop your knees up and down. Eight, seven, six. Come to your right side in four, three, two, one. Lower to your right hip. We're gonna switch sides, bend your lower knee, extend your top leg long. Let's lift and lower, lift and lower. Kick through your heel. Hips are stacked. You can even feel it in your side oblique right here in your top hip. Amazing work, eight more, six, last four. Get your heart up and open, last three, two, stir the pot in one, hold at the top, small circle. You can go forward, you can go back, just make it active in your leg. Use your inseam of your inner thigh here to lift and circulate. Four more, last three, bring the sole of your foot down in two, and one, straighten your bottom leg, sole of foot down, lower down, support your head with your hand, flex your toes and lift that leg. Lift, lift. Now if you find your planted foot is up by your middle thigh, take it down more towards your knee. That kind of gives you a little bit more to work with here. Hips stay stacked. Lift from the inseam of your leg. Eight more. Last six, five, four, Last three, roll to your back in two, and one, roll to your back. Woo. Nice job, hug your knees into your chest. Gently rock side to side. Find your happy baby, grab the soles of your feet. Kick through your legs, take what you need. Nice job, friends. Okay, plant the soles of your feet down. Hips with distance apart, and then take your right leg, cross your left, so you've got like an eagle leg, and then hover your knees above your hips. Can you grab the soles of your feet here, flex your toes? So you want your feet to be level, so it's cow face pose. I'll show you if you need to see. So we want to keep our feet level rather than one foot up, one foot down. Keep them parallel towards the earth and pull and squeeze so your knees stay in the midline. Sometimes reaching for our calves or thighs is better than all the way to our feet. Keep your both hips down and just pull, fill the external hip, get a nice stretch. Just a couple rounds of breath. One more round of breath. And then keep that right leg over your left. Tee your arms out wide. Drop your legs over to the right. Move your left hip underneath you in the middle of your mat. So you've got a stacked eagle leg supine twist. You can unstack them if that feels better too. Gaze up or over your right shoulder. Just a few rounds of breath here. Detox the spine. Detox your organs. Feel open. Feel present. One more round of breath. Use your inhale to pull your gaze back up, right? Use your exhale to pull your legs back up. Plant both feet, unwind. This time, left leg over your right. Draw your knees into the midline and grab for the soles of your feet. Flex your toes, keep your feet together parallel. Or grab at your thighs or your calves. You wanna pull the knees to the midline. And fill that in your left external hip and your glute.
Just two more rounds of breath here. Breathe to where you need it. Soften the fibers in your leg, under your glute and your hamstring. One more cycle of breath. And when you're ready, we'll release. Keep that left leg wrapped. Tee out your arms, drop your legs to the right. You can shimmy your right hip to the middle of your mat. A supine eagle leg twist, gaze up or to your left. Both shoulders are in the earth. And just a couple more rounds of breath. I'm gonna take one more nice round of breath. Use your inhale to draw your gaze to the sky. Use your exhale to squeeze your core back up. Realign your spine neutral on the mat. Squeeze your knees into your chest and give yourself a tight hug. Bear hug. Maybe you pull the energy up from the crown of your head towards your knees. Being present right now to what you need. Take a full breath in. And your exhale, release to your Shavasana. Legs go out long. Take up space. Walk your shoulder blades underneath you, lift your heart. Trace the roof of your jaw, roof of your mouth rather with your tongue. And let your tongue fall back into your mouth. And bring some presence and awareness to your breath. The rise and fall of your heart, how your abdomen works in unison to pump the blood and energy and breath all throughout your body. Breathe deep. Where are areas in your life you can be more present? I invite you to explore this this week. Just finding when you're present with someone or in a project or something and your mind starts to trickle off, starts to wander off, escort that wandering ability out and bring yourself back in, escort yourself back in to be present. And see how that might change for you as you learn to practice being more present. Just a couple more cycles of your breath. And if you'd like to seal your practice in an upright position, start to find little wiggles in your fingers and toes. Getting ready to move. When you're ready, roll to your favorite side. Take a moment on your favorite side to be present there and enjoy the gifts that your side body laying brings to you. And when you're ready with eyes heavy, make your way up to a seat. Sit bones down, get tall, roll your shoulders up to your ears and melt your shoulders down your back. I bring my hands to my heart center to thank you for being present today. You're all amazing and I hope you have a great long weekend. I bring my hands up to my third eye center, a friendly reminder to smile, breathe and go slowly. I hand short of gratitude to you all. Namaste. Thank you.